Today, I want to talk about what is impedance, what actually causes impedance, where does it come from? Okay, so I've got two speakers right here. They are actually, I, I do have them wired to each other, one on one coil, one on another coil, and um, same thing, another on this coil to the other, the other coil. And the reason for this is because as I touch this speaker, this one will move. Now, I don't know if you can see it real well right now but this one is this one is moving just slightly i'm going to take this i i, I want to hit it real hard but the whole thing shakes real bad so i'm gonna take it i'm gonna set it on my knee i'm gonna smack it really hard a few times and you'll see this thing move actually a a, a, a small amount oh okay okay ready So essentially you've got your gap and the voice coil is moving through the gap and this gap is magnetic and the voice coil is wire winding. So as the voice coil moves to that gap, it actually creates electricity. And what happens with impedance, so as I was smacking on this, it was generating electricity and then this was moving in response to that. So what happens with impedance is as the amp starts pushing the sub, and let's say it pushes it down, as the sub goes down, it actually generates electricity that wants to essentially um, fight that. And so the electricity is telling it to move up, that this the sub itself makes. So, this, so the, the magnetic gap and the coil are creating the opposite uh, AC current. So if you're sending let's say 100 watts to the sub at one frequency, the sub may be sending back 25 watts. And that's where impedance rise actually happens is the amp is actually fighting the current coming from the sub. And that's why every frequency is kind of different. Um, longer strokes typically have more uh, electricity generation versus shorter strokes. But I also want to show you something else. And this is the reason I did this two subs. This is something you can do at home. You can try it at home. And I'm going to now, I'm going to unhook this back voice coil. And I'm going to plug in this clamp meter here. And then I'm going to turn this on and I'll let you, oh, I get it. Let you see that. And I'm going to turn this to impedance okay so we've got a perfect two ohm impedance there now as i push this you'll see that impedance change because that electricity is 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 fighting the the impedance that's where impedance comes from that's all it is that's one reason you'll you'll never get rid of impedance uh, the only way to get rid of impedance is to maybe glue your voice coil so it never moves, but then you basically just got a paperweight. So, and, and impedance rise is not a bad thing. It's perfectly natural. It happens. And the more freely this is pumping and moving, the more electricity it's sending and the more impedance rise you have. So the easier it is for this sub to, 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 to move, which is good. That means you've got proper loading. You've got an efficient box. You've got a port that's helping it. Like everything is coming together. Your, your car may be adding to it. You've got a good size, you know, motor in the back. I mean, the larger the motor, the, the easier it is for that speaker to generate electricity when you push on it. Because a large motor and a, a coil moving through that large magnetic field generates more power. That means it's more efficient. All of those are good things. Those are what you want to see out of a healthy setup. Um, and that's exactly where it comes from. Anyways, I hope this helped. Uh, you, these are experiments you can do at home. Simple simple um, ohm meter sub, couple subs you can connect together, wire together, you can push, you can watch them move. Um, anyways, I, I hope this helps. I hope this is kind of cool and it gives you an idea of where it comes from, why it's there. We're still going to get into a lot more on um, impedance coming in the future. But for now, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day, guys. Cheers.